literally just this is the, as you can see i now got it in my hair so um hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's theo and welcome to the palace first of all thank you guys so much for 44 subscribers hey y'all if you're new here if you're returning thank you so much for returning i love y'all and if you aren't already subscribed please go ahead and do so click that little red button or whatever color button is down below oh girl my glasses are fogging up i just put some set of spray on my face today is going to be a wig transformation with synthetic wig this wig is from gianne hair from amazon this video is not sponsored by them by the way um i'm just doing it just because why not i wanted to see like what my real abilities were of laying a wig this is the wig i'll have all the details on the screen like i usually do for you guys <laughs> oh my god it's not funny <laughs> Also wearing a shirt from my brand. It says, "Don't be a boring B I C C H B I C T H." And in that order. <laughs> and you can go get you one at theospalace.com. I'll link it down below too. This is the wig. On, I haven't done anything to it. <laughs> um. The wig is pretty soft, actually gonna try to pluck it some more and then what i want to do is do an up down ponytail it is a frontal so i'm hoping i can go ahead and get that done okay you guys i'm back i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the waist a little bit i'll probably do this a voiceover kind of thing i didn't pluck anything so don't expect me to pluck because it just Plucking synthetic hair is a lot harder than I thought because once you pluck it, it's the possibility of the hair actually getting tangled. So, right here, I just pulled my wig back and went ahead and lined the edge of my hair with some ghost bonds. And I'm only doing the middle part first. I like to do my gluing process in sections because it's just easier that way so it's not a really big mess when you try to do it. So right here, I just went ahead and took my got to be spray and I just sprayed it on the tip of the lace that's still showing because that just helps it melt more into my skin. And I also like to just take the spray and put it on the end of my rat tail comb so that it'll be easier to just lay like like I'm doing a little So yeah, as y'all can see, I'm just basically pressing that um, got to be sprayed into my actual forehead with that rat tail comb so that it just melts better. Look, 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 look. So right here is actually a tip for all my blind bitches, stand up, period. Uh, what I like to do is just take one of my least favorite glasses and just tilt it sideways so that I could put the glue down on my ear tabs because I, I can't see what, I, what I'm doing without my glasses. But, yeah, do the same. Oh my God, how did this happen? That's going to be an issue. Anyways, though, I'm going to do the same thing to this end and... I'm be right back. So far, this is a fail, but I feel like I can still finesse it. I'm not giving up hope. I feel like I can still finesse it. So I'll be right back. So you guys, I literally just, this is, this is a complete fail, but I'm not giving up hope. As you can see, I now got it in my hair. So, um, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. Oh 
Okay, so I'm taking this palette and I literally look like Anthony Anderson from Scary Movie. It's okay, cause <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. What you thought? Y'all thought I was gonna stop, cause I, I failed. So right here, I'm just taking a foundation shade and I'm just putting that into the lace to make it blend a little bit more. It really wasn't that noticeable in real life, but as on camera, it was a lot more noticeable. So I was just trying to clean that up. Yes, only girl in the world tees. What? On you today? So right here, I'm just going ahead and parting out my edges that I want. And I'm just going to take my tweezers and pluck them things out. The biggest tip for tweezing is just having the right tweezers, honestly, y'all. Like, before when I had these, like, ranky-dink tweezers, they wasn't really getting the job done as quick as I needed it to. But these work perfectly. I got these from the Decent Plus store. And so now I'm just braiding off the sections that I had. As y'all can see, that little edge of my hair was actually showing. But because I'm lazy, for one, and two, I'm going to lay down those edges anyway. So, I mean, it kind of was what it was. It was really a big deal for me. And y'all see how I'll cover that up later. So this is the amount of hair that I plucked out, just for reference. Uh, now I'm just laying my hair with an elastic band I got from AliExpress for like a dollar. I'm gonna use some mousse and a wave brush to just brush it up and stuff. Right now. And I'm just combing out that middle part. So that it wasn't like blatant <laughs> or obvious that this was a little part of the time. That's really embarrassing. And so I'm just taking the comb and I'm combing all of that hair back. And I'm gonna just section this off really quickly. It's a good amount of hair, but it's fine. So I'm gonna take this mousse. I feel like I'm nervous to use this mousse just because it's like, I really don't know how it's gonna react on the hair. So the mousse actually worked perfectly. I forgot that that's what they be using on braids anyway with just synthetic hair. So I just went ahead and smoothed that out with my rat tail comb and used my scrunchie that I got from the beauty supply as well for like a dollar. I love these little big old scrunchies. And yeah, I just tied up to a ponytail. Now that that's in the little scrunchie, let me just check and see if that's how I want the ponytail. I do think the ponytail should be just a little tighter, but I like that little scrunchie. So, boom, this is the pony. But like I said, this part, I don't want it to look like a middle part, even though it was a middle part. So I'm just combing that back a little bit. Um, the only thing I don't like the shape of the line in part, I'm sure if I tweezed more, it wouldn't have that shape, but since I did it, it does. Girl, I'm also gonna take this edge control. This is the edge, edge effect control, edge effect, edge effect, edge education, the miseducation of Lauren Hill. This is, I'm taking this. So right here, I'm just taking the edges that I already cut and I'm cutting them a little shorter and I'm taking that edge effect. So now I'm just gonna take the edge effect. I'm taking a little bit of it. And I'm just swoop, swoop. Also y'all, I'm watching this video back and I'm not realizing how many ugly faces I be making while I'm trying to do my wigs. Like that shit is actually kind of hilarious. So I'm a little self-conscious now. <laughs> and I'm just spraying a little got to be on it as well, just so that it can stay in place. And I'm doing the same thing to the other side. On your shirt. <laughs> we love the way that it's coming out and i'm actually really surprised that uh, i even got it to this because as y'all y'all seen but y'all seen 
Y'all seen what I had to get go through to get here. So the fact that I'm here is just like, oh child. Eric you take who? Jonathan right who? Okay, so put on some earrings and some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I went ahead and put some lashes on and my nose ring, which is actually on my website at theospalace.com, as well as this shirt. Don't be a born bitch. You guys, I'm really shocked at how this came out. It's actually so freaking gorgeous, and it definitely, definitely, definitely put in my mind to go ahead and grab a red actual human hair curly wig now for $50 though this is not bad at all especially if you're just doing a one-time event have like a quick event that you need to go to but you ain't trying to really break the bank I definitely definitely recommend getting this wig it's so cute is this not cute as fuck I feel like if you say it's not cute as fuck you hating because this is definitely cute as hell look at this Mm -mm. This is really cute. You can do a little bum bum. Hold on. Oh, look at that. It's not, I mean, it's not for me, but I could see somebody doing that. Well, be careful, girl. This is a synthetic hair. So just know that it's gonna, like, after a while, this shit is gonna get tangled. And I wanna see how long I could keep it like this. Like, I'm really interested in seeing how long I keep it like this. Like, if I could keep this wig up for. I want to say two to three months. Definitely going to give an update in two to three months to see how the wig is lasting. Just to show you guys. Um, but for $50. For $50. You could be a baddie on a budget for $50 now, y'all. Like, look at the times. Look at the freaking times. But yes, you guys, I really love this wig. Uh, like I said, this video is not sponsored, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and tell y'all to go grab this wig if it's still up. I'm going to link it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram to see the pictures that I'm going to upload with this on. It's so cute. So, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, thank you so much if you subscribe, like I said already. I've gained literally like 22 subscribers so far. No, I have 44 right now, but I've gained 22 subscribers since the last time I did my count in one of these videos. And I am so ecstatic. Like 20, 44 subscribers might not seem a lot to people, but y'all gotta realize I don't have friends at all. So like, there's only like two people in my life that are aware that I even have a YouTube channel. So to have 44 subscribers, that's really good. And to like have people fucking with me, watching my videos, Thank y'all for fucking me, child. So go ahead, subscribe. Um, comment down below. Like, I want to get to know y'all. What's your favorite color? What do you like to do? Do you like long walks on the beach? Like, what you got going on? Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much. I'm done rambling. See you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I love y'all. Bye.